Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Movses Movsisian and Jay O'Neill that was played in Ulis in 2005. And where is Ulis? Ulis is the city in Texas, United States. Movsisian had white pieces and he started with e4. Jay O'Neill played c5 and we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, g6. Black goes for dragon or accelerated dragon variation of Sicilian defense. d4, bishop to g7. Usually black captures pawn on d4 first and after knight takes on d4 bishop to g7. But we will have transposition. Bishop to g7 was played first. Knight to c3, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, knight to c6, bishop to e3, knight to f6, bishop to c4, black castled kingside, bishop to b3, it is black to move. d6 is the most popular move in this position. That move is preventing white from playing e5. In the game, black played knight to a5. Obviously, black wants to capture bishop on b3. How should white continue? There is a reason why d6 is the most popular move. It's preventing e5. So white played e5 and black has a choice. He can capture bishop on b3 or to play knight to e8. If knight takes bishop, then pawn takes knight. Knight takes rook. Pawn takes bishop. Black can play rook to e8 or capture pawn. Queen takes knight and white is better. So in the game, black played a knight to e8. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move and to play a killer move. For the best result, please pause the video and try to find the winning move that white played in this position. Ready? Is it hard to find? For Movsician with white pieces, it was easy. How? Well, he studied game, Fischer Reshevsky. It was played in US Championship in New York in 1958. He remembered Fischer's move and he played Bishop takes pawn on f7 check. What now? If Rook takes Bishop, then Knight to e6. Attacking queen if pawn takes knight then queen takes queen. Mm. So black captured with king. What now? How would you continue? Again, player with white pieces just did what Fischer did. Knight to e6, attacking queen. In the game, Fischer Reshevsky. Reshevsky captured knight with pawn, lost queen, and lost the game in 42 moves against Fischer. In our game, O'Neill decided to rather sacrifice the king than queen and captured knight with king. Queen to d5 check. King to f5, g4 check. King takes pawn. Well, we have to admit that this king was a real gentleman. He went to enemy's camp to face certain death, just to save his beautiful queen. Rook to g1. Obviously, king will not survive. 
Well, what now? If king to h4, then queen to d4 check, and after king to h3 check and checkmate. In the game, black played king to f5. It is white to move and to checkmate in one. Can you see the move? Rook to g5. Check, mate. Studying games from the past can be very useful. Even watching my YouTube videos can be of some help in improving chess. Do you agree? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.